you guys welcome back to Stella's Knife Obsession I am Stella and today I'm gonna do tense VVs with amazing ergos you ready for this oh this right here all right let's do this just get started and get the probably the best Civivi of all time let's just start with that one it's your best budget friendly uh, definite user all ergos, big blade, massive praxis. This is, I would have to say, a close second to probably the best uh, budget blade of all time. Um, the ergos are phenomenal on this. It's, it's neutral, but it still has slight cutouts so that you can you can easily rest your fingers in them. It doesn't force your hang, your hands anyway, uh, and even if it did, it your fingers just fall into the grooves no matter what size fingers you have. If you have sausage fingers, you're just fine. You're gonna be fine. Um, this one has an amazing choil as well, and that big, fat, tall, flat grind. Um, uh, this is getting ready to be sharpened, so I had my little <laughs> my little outline there. Also, one of the best actions of any, I would have to say, of any uh, budget of all time. So, definitely great ergos, good slicer, nine CR uh, nine CR eighteen MOV, uh, just great finger choil. Just anywhere you want to grab this thing, it's going to be awesome. It's just a good, strong knife. And it's got the weird gold liners. But, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't bother me as long as it's on the uh, black uh, scales. Because if you, I don't know, man, I've seen the blue one with it. <laughs> it just is so hideous. <laughs> I would never buy that color combination, but this one, this works, you know. It's weird that they're gold and shiny, but you can't deny that this is one of the best Civivis of all time, if not the best. So, yeah, that's where we're going to start with the Praxis is definitely, uh, you know, taking up that number one slot. So, let's see who's next, shall we? I'm going to say number two is the Relic. I rarely carry this guy, um, but that's just because I'm trying out new and different knives every single day. I prefer to carry uh, titanium on a regular basis, but this is going to be my number two as far as Civivis go. This definitely has the number two spot. Not so much for the action, even though it's still very smooth, but the ergos. And that's what this this video is all about, ergos. and. If you ask me, a neutral grip like this, that has some some thickness, but not too much thickness this way, uh, this this is you cannot beat a neutral grip like this. This is a fantastic ergos on this thing, and it's a great tool. This is a, a really great tool. Uh, I would, I will definitely be taking this with me camping because it has tweezers, and I remember getting um, splinters last year dealing with firewood and wishing I had tweezers. So why not bring the relic? <laughs> it's perfect. So you could, yeah, you can't get much better than that, man. And the action is pretty good. So yeah, still smooth as butter. All right, let's see who's number three. I'm going with the Civivi Brazen for number three. Um, mostly because, and this one actually could be easily easily be number one but um i mean first of all if you take in other factors into consideration like the fact that it has thumb studs a flipper you know it, it can be deployed in many different ways um then this would be probably number one it kind of has the whole package but we're not we're just talking about ergos here and it does have a very nice neutral grip but there is a little cutout right here and I think for some people that could I don't know not for me but it, it's possible that some people might find that a little awkward I have yet to 
encounter anybody, you know, making a video about a Sabidi brazen saying that it's awkward. But, you know, that liner's there. And if you're using this in hard use, uh, you know, fashions, <laughs> I could see possibly that rubbing and getting irritating you know just irritating your finger after so long so that's the only thing reason why it's been knocked down a couple pegs but as far as action this is i don't know this might be number one i don't know <laughs> Savivis have such good action all their all their budgets have really good action so the brazen is number three so let's check and see who is number four for number four, it's going to be the Riffle. Now, this one has the uh, neutral grip pretty much. It does have this little bend back here in the rear end of the knife, and it has slightly proud liner with a. It's just not as comfortable to disengage the liner lock, but I'm just comparing it to the other Sabibis, that's why this one is number four and not number one, two, or three. Uh, because this thing can easily be number one, two, or three, but the liner is just a little bit more stiff on this. And I mean, but if it really came down to it, uh, the reason the Ergos wouldn't be number one, two, or three is only because of this curve right here. Now for me, it's perfect. I have seen men with very large hands handle it though, and they, they don't care for this. So it's just not every user friendly. So I guess that's why this one is actually number four. But the Riffle is one of my favorites of all time. So I would recommend any one of these knives you're about to see to anyone and everyone every single day. So. <laughs> This is also lefty friendly, as are the other ones that I just sh showed you. So any of these can be for anyone. So yeah. Okay, who's number five? The Pintail. Now the, the Pintail has amazing ergos and it has this thumb ramp. It just makes it so comfortable. You can even choke up on the back of that flipper tab right there. But the reason this has the fifth best ergos is because it's smaller and I, I think this would be a great females carry uh mom sister wife you know this is a great female carry because it's smaller but that's exactly why it has its fifth best because it's just a little small but it still has phenomenal ergos so this is a an amazing knife that I love and I recommend everybody get you one because this thing is so satisfying to use for such a little thing this thing is a super slicer this thing is it's so thin behind the edge because Savivi does hollow grinds like no other and I swear sometimes it's paper thin I swear it's so good but the ergos is where it's at and this is number five but so enjoyable to use this. I love this knife. Who's number six? I know, the Elementum. It's always going to make the top ten list, always. Probably in infinity <laughs> forever. Because it's just a really well-rounded EDC. Um, this has a neutral grip with a very small palm swell, but a palm swell nonetheless, which is... One of my favorite things in a knife. I love a palm, a good palm swell. If it's too big and up here is too skinny, it's just awkward and it's not going to make my best ergos list anyway. But the uh, the Elementum is an, a very it's a very well rounded knife and it just feels comfortable in the hand. And many 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 of you are going to already know what I mean. So I don't think I'll really need to go into explaining that too much more. So, number six is the Sabibi Elementum. Number seven is the Dogma. And this is a phenomenal EDC, just like many of the others that you're going to see tonight. The only reason this made number seven spot for me is because of the pocket clip. For some reason, I feel that quite a bit. 
So uh, everything else about this knife, if there was no pocket clip, honestly, it would be absolutely EDC perfection. Absolute masterpiece. This thing is awesome. I just feel the pocket clip a little bit more than I do in the other ones. And that's the only reason why this one made the seven spot. But this is a great knife, you guys. If you like this, the aesthetics of this knife, it's a phenomenal knife to use on a daily basis. Great EDC. And number eight is going to go to the Vagabond Badlands. Awesome, awesome EDC. This is a very well-rounded knife as well. Um, the Ergos are perfect. It's just FRN handles, and that's why it's a little bit lower on the totem pole. But the Ortis and the Badlands are exactly the same handle, so they both take the number eight spot. Um, so, yeah, but the, uh, the Ortis has the clip point blade, and you're, you have a, uh, uh, there's a slot in there so you can actually spidey flick it. But you can spidey flick this one easily too. So they both have the same exact way about them. I mean, they're, in essence, they are the same knife, honestly. They put a different blade on these handles and they called it something else. That's all they did. So, <laughs> but I do love it nonetheless. So I love these black thumb studs especially, um, but the great ergos. Um, and if you don't have massive hands, which even still, I think if, if you have pretty large hands, because you can choke up on almost every single Civivi, uh, this one will be just as good as any other. So there's number eight, the Badlands. Number nine is going to be the Keen Natter. Sorry about the uh, horrible shadow I'm getting there. The Keen Natter is number nine because it has a more slender, uh, but neutral still. Um, they're really good in staying with that neutral grip and not forcing your hands into any strange configuration. So this has a great choil to choke up with as well. But uh, this one made number nine also because of the clip. Now this one in particular has this ramp. Uh, well... They all have this ramp while well, their stamp steel ones do. This one in particular, I can feel a lot though in comparison to the rest of them. Also, the liner lock, it has a little bit of a chew up your finger kind of effect. So if you're using it in a hard way, which you can easily use the keen natter in a hard fashion, because this thing, this blade is it's not one of those paper thin blades that they put out on a daily basis <laughs> this one you can beat up a little bit so it's really awesome it has that hollow here and flat here which is one of my favorite types of how of uh grinds a uh, compound grind because you get your flat surface here to start the cut and the hollow to finish it off so it's just a fabulous knife great blade on this one i love this a lot so and it's classy too so it's pretty awesome yeah i think a lot of my viewers would like this knife so if you were thinking about it and it's sitting in your cart just go ahead pull that trigger now who's number 10 there i go i got rid of that shadow <laughs> so number 10 is none other than the asticus now both of them will uh, be in the running for number 10. I'm going to put the mini Asticus at number 10 because I believe that the regular size is a lot more versatile when it comes to different hands and different sized hands, especially because that thing has a huge handle on it, which I have no idea why I didn't grab it. So why don't I just do that? All right, so here's the mini Asticus, and here's the big ol' Asticus. <laughs> so, big, huge difference there, as you see. This is your uh, partner before marriage and your partner after marriage. 
<laughs> instead of the mama and the baby. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the big old Astacus is actually phenomenal. <laughs> it has great forward finger choil. This has so much room. You could probably fit your hand and your buddy's hand on it. So, you know, I don't know what you do in your personal time, but you can do that with the Astacus. <laughs> So anyway, this is the one in brass. I love this model. Um, that will be with me forever. I love this this uh, knife. I never carry it, but I love it to death. So the big Astacus and the little one I had to get just because I loved the big one so much. I figured the little one would be easier to carry, and it is. And I do carry it once in a while. It just doesn't have the absolute drop shut action that you know, we're all becoming very familiar with on a daily basis. However, it does have smooth action and that's just as good in my eyes. So buttery smooth action is buttery smooth action, whether it falls shut or it doesn't. And they both have buttery smooth actions. So, uh, yeah, so that's all 10 of my favorite Civivi Ergos. Did I miss any that are on your list? Leave a comment below. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm heading toward that 1,000 so fast. I can almost taste it, and I'm really excited for that because with 1K comes new doors opening for better equipment, and that's my main concern right now is better equipment. I just need to make better videos so tell your friends you know if you think they'll enjoy watching me tell everybody you know scream it in the streets proclaim your love for my channel please okay on that note i will see you soon